Welcome back to the channel. It's James here, and I have just received my Shelly dimmers. I got them yesterday, so I installed them yesterday, and now I'm having a bit of a play with them today. So I put my first one into my bedroom because my Z Wave dimmer was not really working that great, just to try it out and test it. It's a new thing, got to try it out. And of course, I've connected up to Home Assistant as well, and I'll show you what I found. So I've got it hooked up to a push button. It's a momentary push button, and that's the button just there. So basically it's pretty standard, on off. Um, press to dim up, press to dim down. Um, I'll just cut to a little sequence I've filmed. Just shows a little bit more clearly uh, how the range of dimming, how well it works. So it's during the day, but I've got most of the light blocked out. And then as we adjust the, the dimmer down, you'll see the contrast. And then we'll check out the, the dimmer to have a, have a closer look at it. So this is the packaging that it comes in. It comes in packs of two. I got eight of them. And um, it's got the instructions in here, user guide. Um, very similar to a lot of other Shelly products, but this is the smallest one. This is tiny, which makes it extremely easy to install, and it fits into a switch box nicely. It's got the, this one is a neutral one, so it needs a neutral connection. There is one that doesn't need a neutral connection, but I haven't got any of those. It has um, the output just here, and it's got the two inputs. So it can actually work on two of two momentary push buttons, and one to dim up and one to dim down. Now I've not tried that, but I think that would be a pretty good idea and make it a little bit easier to use, especially if you've only got one switch on the on the plate. Um, sometimes it's a bit annoying when you're trying to get the right level and you've got to press it down and then up and then down. I think having the two might be a pretty cool thing to try out. So I might try that later. Of course, in true fashion, I like to open it up and have a look inside because that's what I do. How does it work? And I have to say that this is extremely good quality. It's been very well made. Basically, um, we've got here fusible resistor, the power supply. Um, it's a non-isolated type. It's got two MOSFETs here. It's got the memory, the ESP8266, the shunt resistor, and the Wi-Fi antenna. It's got on the back side a uh, switching power supply IC, and this here is the power monitoring, so it does measure the power usage. And it's also got this little 32-bit processor here, which is a I think it's a neutrino processor. And I was wondering if that's how they would they did the dimming, and it is. So they've got a separate processor, one to run the um, their firmware and their software on it. And I'm only speculating, I'm not 100% sure. And I think that this probably runs the, um, controls the dimmer. So it controls the zero crossing and this just tells, this processor here tells that what level to set the light to. And this controls the MOSFETs. I think that's how it might work, not 100% sure. And then you've got your two inputs here just for the um, push buttons. So yeah, pretty neat. And it's got MOV protection here just across parallel to the outputs of the MOSFETs. That's just to prevent uh, transient voltage spikes um, from damaging the MOSFETs. So very neat. Awesome little device. In a very small package, very easy to install. Let's just swap over to the computer and have a look at the firmware. So this is the Shelly um, firmware. Very similar to all the rest of the firmware they have. Of course, when you first install it, it makes its own wireless network. Uh, you connect to the wireless network and then you go to 192.168.33.1 and then you log in and then you can, of course, come to internet and set up your own Wi-Fi and then the device will join your Wi-Fi network and your router will give it an IP address. Once you've done that, um, you can come over to settings and usually give it a firmware update 
just here. This has been updated. I did notice that before I updated it, um, you could select the type of dimming and it had leading edge, center dimming and trailing edge. Now I gave center edge dimming a go on a number of different lights and it didn't seem to work very well on any of them. So I'm wondering if that's why they removed it. And center dimming isn't actually something I've not heard of before. So I was wondering whether there's maybe some application that you could have used it for. Anyway, it's not there, it's gone. The firmware, the firmware update has removed it. So we'll quickly go back over here. It's got all the regular stuff, the timers, auto on, auto off, the weekly schedule. It's got a night mode. So I've got this enabled. So at 10 o'clock to seven o'clock in the morning, if you turn on the light, it'll set the light brightness to 20%. So that's a pretty cool little feature. It has um, your yes, internet settings. And I've got this set up with MQTT. Pretty much the same as all the other Shelly products. And um, this is the HTTP actions. And here you've got default power mode. I've got it so that if the power comes on, turns off, and then comes back on again, it will, the device will stay off. It's got the button selection. So you've got the one button, which is what I've got. And then you've got dual mode um, and all the other various options. And it's got transition time. So that's the time to transition from one brightness to another. I think you can have one second to three seconds. And I've got mine set to one second. It's got fade rate, how fast the speed, the fade, the dimmer fades up and down. Um, and then it has back down to here where you can select the dimming type. So I've got trailing edge selected here, which works well with the downlights that I have. And then you can run a calibration and it just runs steps the device, steps the dimmer through different brightnesses and must do some sort of calculation to get it calibrated. So yeah, that's the device. And of course it's got power monitoring. So I've got, I've got four 10 watt LEDs connected. And when it's 100% brightness, it uses 40 watts, which is exactly what my down my down lights are. And when it goes down to a very low level, so just before they cut out, it gets down to two watts, which is almost nothing. <laughs> and my lights are still on. So that's pretty cool. And if you switch over to Home Assistant, um, I've got this set up, of course, as MQTT. And um, you can simply, once you've got it connected to your MQTT server, which is done in uh, internet settings in the Shelly device. And then you can set up a the light section of your YAML configuration. You can set up an MQT device like so. I think this might change. You can, or you can use a different format slightly. If you've updated, I'm still on 99.99. I haven't updated for a little while. Um, but I'll leave the in the description just the settings. It's very straightforward, very simple to set up. And of course, if you come over here, I haven't got it set up properly in my interface yet, but that's the light just here where we can control the brightness, turn it off and on. So I've got full brightness, put it down to nothing. And and it updates over here on the Shelly. So yeah, that's the Shelly um, dimmer, an awesome little little device. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos around home assistant, home automation, how to install stuff, then please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support. See you next time.